today's installment completes our theme for this month on how to build your work. Today we're going to talk about do a sequel. Thank you for joining us. today let's jump right in and get started with today's lessons um, if you've tried any of these ideas that I've given you over the month uh, that I've suggested what could result as a part of this is that you may actually need to do a part two to your work so let's talk about this for a minute so the first thing that I wanted to, to suggest for you is use customers feedback through teaching from your work or sharing it on different social media platforms, you have the opportunity to get feedback. You can even create a questionnaire asking specific questions regarding your work, especially from those you could, you know, that have read it. You can ask them to answer it. So depending on their response, you may find you need to do a part two because people may have more questions about some of the things that you cover. So you just have to determine like what things you want to to ask. You know, you can even just out and out ask, which is my second point, is ask. A really easy way to find out if people would want a part two is to ask them directly. Um, when I created my mentoring course, I had only created one session. It was uh, for the first level. It was it was a three month program, and it was called the the Eagles Eagle Flight School, and it was based off of my book. I saw the chicken is out of the coop. Well, as I went through this program, um, in my second round of going through it, one of my groups pretty much, they asked me, but it was kind of, I was getting the pressure of like, we want to keep going. So I asked them, I said, so if I create a part two of this mentorship program, will you partner? And I've been able to have several groups go through that. So sometimes you just ask your customers what they want and you might be surprised at what you um, actually get. And so that was actually my kind of two points for today about doing a sequel. The other thing that I didn't have as one of my points, but just to for you to think about it is, um, even when you get ready to do your sequel, ask your customers around, I mean, your customers about book covers. Did they like the last book cover? What would they have liked to see? You can kind of ask them some questions. Now, you got to be ready because if they give you some honest answers, you may not like everything. And they might not say, well, I liked everything. They might have said, well, this was a little hard or this. So you ask the questions, but then that may help you be better able to do that part two uh, and make it just a little bit more easy or, um, uh, uh, you know, what your customers or your readers would like. So again, as we talk about doing the what to do with your work, excuse me, we talked about doing a sequel, use customer feedback, ask your customers, what did they like? How did they like? Did they like? Um, then you can go and just ask them outright, you know, if I did this, would you be want, would you be willing to um, view it or, or look at, look at it? Um, also, some of the things you could actually do is even do the 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 kind of the work of if you're doing any of the other things if you're doing the the live type of things that may actually generate some of your your information and I talked about that in another of our top, top uh, you know our times together so sometimes if you're doing live and they're giving you you know feedback and you're you're teaching some of that may actually lead you to need to do a second chapter or it's not a chapter but a second book so i hope this month's little tips have been a blessing to you and if they have and if you are looking for a coach or help with publishing you can contact me at publishthevision.com or you can email me at doctor that's dr dr jewel williams at publishthevision.com that's dr dr jewel williams at publishthevision.com and as i always say until next time let's write it God bless.